Hi guys, so today we have a very special review. Um, it's on the new Tool Plus, which was made by Quan Lee thermal camera. It's sold at Union Repair. It's $900, but I can tell you this thing tops any thermal camera out there. I've used the uh, previous Seek camera, and that you plug into the phone. You don't really get a wide angle, you don't get accurate positions. But I'm going to show you in this video a few situations on how this can save you so much time in diagnosing, it, it just changes the game. So, let me show you. Okay, so here's one example. We have a iPhone 7 sent in from Belgium. The home button does not click. Uh, now, before we go anywhere, all we have to do is, without taking the phone apart, let's go into the thermal camera here. We'll see on the footage over here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the phone under the thermal camera, like so. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to turn it on and let's see what will happen. So here we have the home button. So we're going to boot the phone. As you can see, it's turning on. Now let's have a look and see what gets hot. There we go. So as you can see here, the actual chip by the button is getting hot. If you hover your course cursor over, it will tell you the exact degrees. Now this is crazy. So yeah, so now we know immediately that it's someone has damaged the home button. So now what we're going to do is, if we take off the screen, can we just focus up on here, Dad? If we take off the screen, if you focus on to where that shows, we can see that it's cracked. How's the focus on that? It's fine. So over here, the technician came in with their tool to open the iPhone 7 and has cracked the actual Touch ID uh, turtle IC. So now we told the whole story with this thermal camera. Show them the thermal camera. This thermal camera is boss. So I'm going to show you another few examples later on after I fix this repair. Okay guys, so here we have a dead iPhone 6S. We're going to use this thermal camera to just give us a situation what's happening. Plug into our DC power supply. Okay, let me just have a look here. So now we have this option here. If we click the orange button, we can turn into fast uh, to find the problem faster than looking at this type of area. So what we'll do is we can just turn on the power supply. Now, as you can see here, this is getting hot and this is getting hot, but the problem lies here. Now, as you can see, it's showing this. We can try and go out here. Now we can see the the um, cap is getting hot there. So what we can do is we can switch it to normal mode and we can say right that looks like it's the issue right here so if we switch it back to the other mode we can say yep it's right there it's orange it's good so we know this is the problem straight away head back to normal mode here cool that's good so now we're going to turn it off and now just for fun and games let's see if that was correct So let's turn this into visible lighting and let's hit it here. Yep, that's the one right there. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to head over to the microscope. Oh gosh. Let's head over to this microscope. Now, on the thermal camera, what I saw was this cap here getting hot this one here so let's just confirm it and we're gonna turn on the power supply yeah as you can see that was the first one that we attacked so now all we're gonna do is we're gonna take our heat Is it focused? I think so. There we go. So now based on what the thermal camera told us, that is the problem. So what we're going to do is, we're going to then plug it into the phone. 
Make sure it's focused and zoomed out. It's still quite hot. So let's just plug it in. And look at the camera, look at the phone, turning on. So that's how we diagnose this in under three minutes, four minutes, I'm guessing. Mm. Okay, this is just an example of a dead unit. Kedda, up on me. So yeah, that's it's a success on. dead. And yeah, we can, let's, okay, so I've showed you two examples on how this camera works. Um, yeah, the only downside, I think, is the fact that you can't zoom. But apart from that, this gives you, honestly, you can change the temperature so you can see where the heat is coming more precisely than other thermal cameras. And this, you can compare to the FLIR. The FLIR, they have this ETS model, which is 2,500 USD. Um, it does very, a very similar job to this. Um, but yeah, it's definitely worth the money. I mean, it's already paid off half of it today, the day I got it, so. Yeah, only disadvantage is the zoom. If they can sort that out, it will make a perfect product. But apart from that, unbelievable thermal camera for 900 bucks.